Hey, I'm Sean. And I'm Jackie. And this it's is Rookie, Rookie Roost. Roost. It's been yeah, so long. I don't know. It feels weird. <laughs> so this video is going to be about a topic that I've been asked about quite a bit, especially since kind of the format change that happened with the videos where Jackie's been a little less present or a little more randomly present, I guess. <laughs> and that is just what the hell are we or were we or what's the history of our relationship? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. So let's start with how we met. How did we meet? Online. On the internet. Of course. Where everything happens these days. We got to talking and one of the first things that I said to her was, I assume you like tiny houses. <laughs> it's exactly that. And she responded, yeah. And it's kind of like the initial thing that we kind of bonded over. And the reason I kind of assumed that she was into tiny houses is because like her profile was all about <clears throat> sustainability and kind of alternative living and kind of kicking the status quo. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Then we did decided to build a house. The day we met, we started talking about tiny houses, kind of going over what we'd want in a tiny house. Mm -hmm. And we weren't even really thinking about like the romantic or dating aspect of it all. It was more just like a, like, a common interest. And we yeah. were both really interested in the uh, kind of the building and the lifestyle around it. Mm -hmm. And so before we were even like really acting like any kind of a couple or dating or anything. We were actually designing a tiny house in a coffee shop. <laughs> and like within the first month of meeting. Yeah, that's that's all we did. We kind of met up every week and just kind of played around and sketch up and started making budgets and stuff, really without any understanding of what the future would hold for us. <laughs> the kind of like baseline really was that we both decided that no matter what, like we didn't really know if, if we'd even go ahead and build something. It was kind of just a, a fun thing to think about and mess yeah. around with. Yeah. And then when we kind of got a little bit more serious about it, we kind of took it with the attitude of no matter what happens, we would both want the house in the end. So one of us, like we wouldn't want to design a house according to one of our needs and specifications, it would have to be exactly. suitable for both of us. Exactly. If you think about it, it's kind of like people having a kid. I mean, realistically, who knows how long you're gonna be with anybody. And people commit to having kids all the time. It's just something you want in your life, right? And at the end of the day, if you're not working out, that doesn't mean the kid now becomes a problem. Exactly. You just deal with it, yeah. right? The tiny so, house is really our kid. Yeah. When it comes down to it. We, we both kind of have joint custody and... <laughs> I just have like more time with it right now, you know? And uh... Yeah. She sees it on weekends, <laughs> but like I'm, you know, even though uh, right now we're working under the assumption that I'm going to have it and live in it, like I'm not closed off to the idea that she could have it and live in it. It really just depends on who achieves the lifestyle where it makes sense for them. Yeah, it's kind of interesting because both of us have very different plans, but we're also people who change our minds a lot from year to year on how we want to live our lives. So, I mean, to say that somebody's for sure going to have it in three years is just really, it doesn't make sense. It's not, it's not us. We don't plan that way. So we met back in September of 2015 and now it's April of 2017. God, my arm's getting tired. <laughs> and the house construction started in July of 2016. So what happened in all that time in between? We spent the first couple months kind of just messing around with the idea and sort of playing with designs. Kind of just having a, a fun hobby of like messing around with tiny house designs. Yeah. I said the same thing twice there. Yep, yep. Yep. And then when we kind of got a little bit more serious about going forward with the build, we came up kind of with the idea we really wanted to try to document it and kind of go forward with the YouTube project. Really mm -hmm. from the beginning of our friendship or relationship or whatever, it was all about just collaborating on something. Yeah. And actually the tiny house wasn't the first kind of video project that we did. We did this, uh, really lame when we look back on it but pretty funny like gaming video <laughs> stuff shadow shot and heavy machine gun <laughs> that was really good. Yeah, yeah i was pretending to play games yeah yeah that was just an experiment it was fun yeah and so it kind of made sense to uh to live together because we wanted to save money yeah saving um, money was key because we thought maybe one day we'd build a house so yeah and we were you know trying to be boyfriend and girlfriend at the time so it like also <laughs> made sense but we were never a typical romantic relationship it just never no we was were that. we were always more just interested in the same things yeah and needed to be around each other every day so that we could you know brainstorm and plan things and work together on ideas really and so moving in together kept it so that we could plan every day like the tiny house kind of became this obsessive thing it was just we're always working towards building it and designing it and then the youtube aspect started so we were always collaborating on that even if we didn't have a place to build it <laughs> yeah we, we didn't have a place to build it for the longest time and as soon as we did things really ramped up yeah 
and that was all good and the uh we worked tirelessly every day we got the uh, exterior of the house done and then we kind of took a break and it was just a little bit after that where we both decided hey we'd actually like some kind of other relationships in our life yeah <laughs> and now that the house is built and we can take a breather from it it made sense to kind of part and Mm -hmm. try the things yeah winter was hitting i think that we kind of burnt ourselves out you know from working so hard and we needed a break from it and, and each realizing other. that yeah <laughs> realizing that it was like break from the house hey might as well take a break from each other too because yeah. we've been around each other so much working so hard and it just yeah you need a balance yeah and uh, that kind of brings you up to where we're at now we've just been you know once a week sometimes a little more or a little less jackie will come in and kind of help me on the house Working under the assumption that I'll kind of eventually own it. I'm kind of working yeah. on the YouTube channel, so it makes sense that I kind of take full responsibility for the house because I still want to, to do that thing with YouTube. Well, and your plans of owning it are a little bit more stable than mine, I think. So my eventual plan if the house ends up just solely with me is to buy a property probably with another house on it or maybe build another house on it and rent out the house and use the property to just continue on with the YouTube channel because really it's YouTube that I want to do. Making videos and being creative has kind of always been my thing and the tiny house and that just kind of got merged. Yeah. Yeah. And I guess like the only thing that would stop you from doing that would just be like the expense of it, you know, living yeah. where we do property is extremely expensive. So we're not entirely sure that that's going to work out for him right now, but maybe hopefully, but if it doesn't, then I road. have to take the house for whatever reason, um, which we're really hoping is, you know, kind of going to be the last case scenario, but, um, <laughs> she's paid for most of the house. The house is still very much hers. Yeah. And that's the funny thing is that, you know, I don't even have <laughs> proper plans for mm -hmm. it. Uh, my initial plan was to take it actually traveling around, but then I thought about it and I was like, that's not good for a tiny house. You're not supposed to move it around. So now it's kind of like, I think I got to do the traveling first and then figure out if I can find a place for it. And because I don't know, it doesn't make sense for it to be mine. You know, um, who knows when that day may come. Yeah. But if worst case scenario does happen and he can't take it, um, I do have property that I can put it on. It's not in an ideal location, but my family owns property that I could put it on. And, you know, so there's, I think that there's always going to be a place for it regardless. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, I hope that answered a few questions and we'll see you next time at the roost.